Welcome back to Photoshop Basics on PSD Touch Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and in this episode, we are going to learn how to work with the Clone Sam tool. This tool is mainly for retouching images, and I would like to teach you how to work effectively with this tool and completely non destructively. I would like to get rid of the lampposts from this photograph. And the main thing what I always teach to my delegates is to create a new layer for the cloning. So I will now create a new layer and you can always call that layer cloning or you can call it retouch. It's, I think it's better to call it retouch. And then select the clone stem tool from the toolbar. This is the clone stem tool under the brush tool. And if you want to use the clone stem on a separate layer, you need to set the sampling to all layers or current and below. The default setting is current layer. Instead of using that, I am always use the other two. It depends on uh, whether I have more than two layers or on only just two layers. In this case, I will use current and below. And I will sample from the layer below, but I will clone on the layer on top. So I will make my retouch on a separate layer, which makes it completely non-destructive. The other thing what you should set up is to have a soft edge brush. So set the hardness to 0% with your brush. After you have this set up, the only thing that you need to remember is to always try to find edges for the cloning. I will start here at the bottom and I show you if you alt click, which is for sampling with the clone tool, and you alt click somewhere in the middle on the wall somewhere here, and then you start cloning, it will be difficult to align your cloning and you will always have problems like this. But if I now go back and you alt click to sample from an edge, like the edge of the roof somewhere here, so alt click there, and then align your cloning, something like this. Thanks to this feature introduced in CS4, it's much easier to align the cloning because we see the preview in the brush. So I start drawing and you can see it's much faster. I can easily get rid of the lamppost like this. And I can even continue, but here I will resample again from an edge. I will use the bench somewhere here. I make my brush a little bit smaller and I will align it again. And then I start drawing up and down like this. You can do the same thing here on the top. This is a bit more difficult part, but again, if you find a good position, an edge, which is in this case, the edge of two bricks and the sky. So I alt click here on this part, and then I will align my cloning somewhere to here. And then I continue my cloning. And you can see that with one brush stroke, I can easily get rid of the whole lamppost. So it's all about aligning your cloning. And now if I turn off my retouch layer, you see we haven't changed anything on the original image. We just have the retouch on a separate layer. I show you another example. With this photograph, we have the people here on the left and I would like to get rid of them. So I create a new layer quickly. I call it retouch. And then I sample from the image. I think I will sample from this part here. Alt click somewhere there. And then I start drawing over them like this. But make sure that you don't do a retouch in one step. Because as you can see, if I continue, I will duplicate the shadows. So I will always alt click again. And I try to merge the sample points and make a believable retouch. I will sample now from here and I will use this part of the image as well for retouch and also try not to create patterns from the same retouch because that is easy to tell. And sometimes after I got rid of mainly what I don't want to see in my image, 
Sometimes I turn down the opacity of my brush, somewhere around 40 or 50, and I blend together the samples that I have on the image. So that makes a nice blend and it blends these colors together. So I now only use 50% opacity for the clone stamp tool. Now this was before and this is after. And if I zoom out a bit, you won't be able to tell that there is a retouch on the image from a distance. And the last one is a fun example of retouching. I will create a new layer on top of the football player so I make a new layer, I call that retouch and I will sample from a point near uh, to the ball and then I draw over the ball. Now I set my brush to 100 just to make sure that I hide it completely and then I turn on another layer which I prepared for this example and we put the little dog here and we have a nice retouch photograph. So you can see Using the clone tool is great fun and you can retouch your photographs for artistic reason or just for fun. And if you love retouching images, then you should come back next time because I will show more retouch tools in Photoshop. And we will also learn how to use them properly just like with the clone stamp tool. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.